Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on to week three of our weekly meal prep and today is a super, super simple one. Crock pot, can't go wrong. So I thought I would share this one with you guys and I really hope you like it. It's really good, it's easy, and that's the way we do it. <laughs> I honestly don't even have a name for this one, you guys. We're just gonna call it rice and chicken with a lot of flavor, and that's good enough, right? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you really enjoy. So to start, you're gonna need chicken, corn, beans, stewed tomatoes, onion, some spices, and we're gonna throw all of that into our crock pot. I'm going to chop up my onion into pretty big pieces because it will kind of shrink up in the crock pot cooking all day long, but not huge, just good sized chunks. Now I'm using frozen chicken breast, which is totally fine to do and still pretty much takes the same amount of time to cook. I'm just going to let it go for the whole day and I'm good to go. I'm using about six pieces and this is going to feed us for a while. <laughs> going to add our corn. I'm not even going to drain it because we're going to finish this all with water anyway, so why even take that extra step? I'm going to put in my beans as well as the stewed tomatoes. These are really good. They're from Costco and they already come with like spices in them. They're good. Then I'm going to take the Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash blend. I will say guys, I'm putting quite, quite a bit since it's such a big pot, but this stuff has a kick. So be warned. <laughs> and also going to use the spicy garlic that I have as well. Um, it's like spicy garlic salt. And I thought that would be good as well. And then I'm going to fill it up pretty much to the top with some water. I'm going to put that on low and we're going to let it sit for a good eight hours. Done, you're gonna want to take out some of the chicken and cut it up into big pieces I have this cool device I'm not sure what it's called but this kind of like does it for you and you just like cut it like you would with scissors it is the coolest thing so this is how I'm cubing it up so I don't have to pull it out but you can do it however you need to do it but yeah I got this thing through pampered chef and I think it's supposed to be, you use it to make like salsa and you get your tomatoes and everything in there. But I totally use it for this all the time. I love this thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Then we're gonna cook up our rice and I'm just using this Uncle Ben boil in a bag. This stuff is so simple. You put it in a pot of boiling water, all four bags I'm doing and you let that cook for 10 minutes and you're good to go. It's really cool. <laughs> Once it's done, I'm just gonna pull it out using some tongs just cause obviously don't wanna burn myself, drip off some of the excess moisture and water that's in the bag, and then we're just gonna put it into our and it is good to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on top of it, and I think lime would be ideal going with the flavors that we have, but that's all I got and that works. So yeah, put a little lemon juice on it. Call it good. I'm gonna start doing all of my containers now, filling them up. And I'm going to start with the rice and just do a good amount into this little bowl. Then we're going to take a slotted spoon, get all that moisture off so it doesn't make the rice soggy. And we're going to top our rice with our corn, beans, chicken. It's going to be really, really good. I'm also going to top it with some salsa on top. And I think when we go throughout the week to reheat it, it's just going to help keep it a lot more flavor to it as well and keep the rice from getting too dry. I had extra left over after doing all my containers which I did do four this week since Monday was a holiday. I only need four and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into this container all of my extra meat. This is really good to do for like making um, tacos or burritos. 
you can totally use this mixture for that too. We've done that and it is really good. So just another little uh, idea for you guys. for our meal prep this week guys this was so simple this took all of like 20 minutes in total because really it sat all day and it did the work for me this was good that rice in a bag not bad hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very very soon thanks so much for watching Mwah.